Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. I was strolling through Total Wine, just minding my own business, not looking at any bourbons or butts or boobs, just walking down the aisle, minding my own business. A couple bottles caught my eye. So I saw these bottles and I thought, those labels look familiar, kinda, and like the bottle shape looks familiar, and then like this tax stampy thing looks familiar, and the cork looks familiar, and I started to read it a little bit, and I saw it was from California, and I was like, that reminds me of one of my favorite distilleries, one of my favorite brands. Little Matt here had a hunch that maybe this son of a bitch was produced by Redwood Empire. And I was like, could it be? Could it be? And then, not in the label that I could see, I perused it and scanned it and checked it twice. So I went home and I did some detective work. And I I used my favorite search engine, Schmoogle. What the heck? How, there's no information really. I need some more information. So I, I went to the second page of Schmoogle. Whoever goes to the second page of Schmoogle, unless they're really, Sh sleuths like me i'm such a sleuth second page of google I, I saw an article about about some some friggin wine factory i sent redwood empire a message with a picture of this and the, the american whiskey and i said hey do you make this because i think you do and i bought some so tell me that you do and they replied we do we make that and this was an exclusive bottling for total wine once I found out that this was made by Redwood Empire, I decided I would tell everybody. So I, I spread the word. And then people were like, we're buying it. And I'm like, well, I haven't tasted it yet, so I should probably do that before I spread the word anymore. All one, all two, all three. America, oh, what the hell? That was fantastic. Oh, beautiful pop. Let's talk about this label. It says triple R, so you know that there's gonna be a lot of R's coming up as you read it. It has a man who looks like a lumberjack. Uh, looks like my dad in his prime. Paul Bunyan, you could say. And he is fighting a wild boar. It's like that mystical song. I'm cold as a lion with my hair. If you ever seen me fighting in the forest with a grizzly bear, help the bear! that bitch gonna eat it. Now, it looks like, I don't wanna get too in depth with fight talk, but it would appear as though the wild boar is handling this gentleman rather easily. See how his his weight isn't proportioned over his legs? His um, his legs are buckling as the, the wild boar is, push, is pushing him back, backwards here. So all a bear, would, all this boar would have to do is really put his leg behind his leg and sweep the leg for, for a nice takedown. It was probably a nice fight. It looks like his sleeve is ripped off, meaning that they've been fighting for at least a, at least one round, I would say. He's got a good grip on the t on the tusk. You, I think that's what it's called on the tusk. But I think that after a round or so, they're both going to be working up quite a bit of sweat. So that tusk is going to be a little bit slippery. Um, I'm probably not going to get enough good enough grip on that tusk to be able to manipulate it in any sort of way to, to really throw the boar off of his game. The boar looks a little bit angry, which is kind of concerning to me because maybe the boar came into this fight a little bit emotional, maybe a little bit over aggressive. And in that case, he might have an adrenaline dump, which could, which could possibly make the boar tire. And there's nothing more boring than a tired boar. Unfortunately for, for, for Paul Bunyan, it looks like he's carrying a lot of extra lean body mass, meaning that the lactic acid is gonna be building up in all of his muscle fibers. You don't want your muscles to fill with lactic acid. That's why a lighter, more aerobic fighter could possibly put up a better fight against this boar, because all you have to do is tire out the boar, I would say. Clat classic man on boar action. Frick. Straight rye whiskey made on the west coast. The riverbank is home to wildlife, 
both man and beast that inspires our ride to have rich color with exceptional balance and complexity. Aged in bottles in California, IA. 90 proof. Let's see what I recommended these people to buy without me tasting it. Oh, that's nice. A little, a little caramely for our eye. A little burnt caramel. This smells different than the Emerald Giant. Strange. I wonder if there's anything else that's going on here. Maybe a little bit dilly. Maybe like a dilly? A dilly dildo? A dildo? That's definitely a ticket. We gotta let her spin. Gotta get spun. Russian River Rye. Rye around, baby. Rye around like a Russian River baby. Rye around, round, round. You ring me rye around. Russian rye around like a river Russian rye around, round, round. That's a good song as I sing it. Rye around. It doesn't smell very young. It doesn't smell like a very young rye whiskey, but it also doesn't smell like a very old rye whiskey. Dill pickle chips. A little salty dill, dill pickle chips. Before I read the back label, let's have a little sip mm. That's nice. I like that. This tastes like a lower proof. It says straight rye whiskey. So that means it's a minimum of two years. Yes. Yes. But if it's under four years, it needs an age statement. Yes. Located in the Russian River Valley, Triple R is named for the river that connects us directly to the Pacific Ocean and its temperate climate. The river connects the ocean to their, dis their distillery? To their... So I got salt on it because it's connected to the ocean, obviously. Our straight rye whiskey is aged in a high char, new American oak, and the mild Northern California seasons allow for a slow and even extraction of flavor, producing a whiskey with rich notes of maple, vanilla, and cinnamon. Definitely has cinnamon. I was gonna say this tastes, I stopped saying it in the middle of saying it, but you knew I said it was, you knew I stopped saying it when I said it, when I stopped saying it. Because you were like, what was he going to say? And then I didn't say it because I stopped saying it. And I stopped saying it because I just stopped saying it. But I was, what I was going to say, now that you're wondering, is I was going to say this tastes like a lower proof Willet to me. Oh, aged at least three years. So... Distilled in Indiana. So this is a... MGP minimum of three years. Huh. Why wouldn't it say, like, wonder why, wonder why they wouldn't just say this is them? Because they have a great, they have a great reputation, the Redwood Empire, but they don't put it, like it's, this is made for total wine, but it is a total win for me because I cracked the code. I figured out that it was made by the same peeps that make Redwood Empire, and then I told the world. So Total Wine should probably be sold out immediately of this stuff, because guess what? I have a gigantic following, and by following, I mean stomach. This is really good. They did, they're they doing some awesome stuff over in Sonoma County, California. There's like a little campy smell, like a campy, it's not like a smoke. This smells like a beautiful camp site for sure like when you first get to the campsite and everybody's still fresh and nobody smells like bo yet and nobody has shat six feet away from the tent over a log this is like fresh campsite untainted campsite oh, fresh outdoors with the expectation of fun and good times and friends and s'mores, and tent sex. Ouch, a rock. Oh, I'm already done. Don't worry about it.